Okay, what we're going to do today is solve a quadratic equation with our graphing calculators. There's a lot of different ways to do it, uh, but if you have an opportunity to use your calculator, that's the best way. And you solve the graph by finding where it crosses the x-axis. Notice this guy's ready to go. It already equals zero. And so what we're going to do is just plug this information into our calculator. So if you have an Inspire, we want to open up a uh, new document and we want to, if you have any unsaved stuff, you nine times out of ten don't want to save it. And we're going to choose to add a graph. So down here in our function, we're going to put in 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. And go ahead and graph that guy. Uh, your default window should work for most graphs. If you can't quite see your graph or you're not sure where your x-axis are, uh, intercepts are, you can use the menu key and go to window and then your window settings and you can change these to any numbers that you want. The numbers we have right now work because we can see where the x uh, graph crosses the x-axis. So to use your calculator to do this we're just going to uh, tap menu. We want to analyze this graph and we want to find the zero and the zero is where the graph crosses the x-axis. So choose zero and then mouse to the left of the intersection point and click it. So, and then mouse to the right and click it. You always look for these guys by moving from left to right. Uh, and so when we do that, we get that um, the zero at this point is negative 1.76. Well, we've got another zero, so I'm just going to take this guy right here and move him over. And then uh, do this again. So control G, not sorry, not control G, menu. Let's get out of that. Menu, analyze graph, zero again, and then mouse, use your mouse button to mouse over towards the other intercept. And again, we want to look from left to right. So start on the left side of the intercept and, and click, and go to the right side and click. And there's our other zero is at 0.758. So what values of x solve this problem? The values of x that solve this problem are when x equals uh, one point, negative 1.76 and when x equals 0.758. Those are when we get values uh, that, that solve this problem. So that's all there is to it. <coughs> And uh, this is something that you should be able to, to do fairly quickly with your calculators.